Well, I didn't mean for this to happen. Wheatley, well, Wheatley turned you into this. Well, it's your own fault anyway. Well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. Uh, but since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Really? That's what I did? Well... Good, oh yes, working. yes, yes, we know. Hey, Don't brag. But you were right. You could he, one of those I shouldn't have strapped the foot it. Just remember to land on one foot. Okay, um... See you later. I probably didn't expect that. Greetings, people of Earth. My name is a Dalek Supreme. And welcome to Portal 2. Now, where we last left off, Wheatley betrayed us and tossed us down a big pit. Catch you later, Gladys. You get carried away by birds. Well, it's, um...
Wow, what? Wow. Oh, look, there's a big door. I wonder where that leads to. Could it lead to certain doom? No. My inevitable... My inevitable escape from a hell hole? Is it one of those things where... Okay, uh, wait, how do you... How do you get out of here? Wait, so... Wait, uh, wait, what? What about these pipes? Where do they go? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Well, can't go that way, um, for some reason. We just, um... Oh, I can go this way. I'm good at opening doors. Whoa. Okay. So, whatever that says, uh, I, I was I was busy reading. Stop interrupting me. I'm sad. Just kidding. Well, look at those water. That's the first time I've seen actual water on this in this facility. Oh yeah, and life as well. I mean, to act so sarcastic, but wait, yeah, I go. Yeah. Go. Yep. Okay. So, what is going on here? What does that say? Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, ah, Kate Johnson. You're here because we want the best, and you are it. Ah, so, thank who's you. Who's going to make some science? Yep. I I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I'm just about now, to You already met one another on the limo ride right over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. Hello, Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Bring us a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, for goodness sake, come on.
went the wrong way.
Um, why? and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Okay. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Repulsion Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is, we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Mantis men? What, like, just too good here? What, like, just too good here? <laughs> that Lego reviewer of YouTube. It's like, hey, just too good here. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Fighting an army of just too good here. Yeah. Now, if you don't know what a just too good here, uh, I mean, if you don't know what a just too good is, they he's, say great science. he's basically a Lego YouTuber who uh, studies with Lego. Science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Really? I see. Well, I don't want to fight a giant army of mantis men. Don't worry, uh, just say no, just too good. Uh, I'm not calling you out. No, uh, of course I'm not. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. Wait, you you're, get the gel. You just Last poor son of a gun got repulsion. blue paint. 
<laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Okay. Tragic, but informative, or so I'm told. Our repulsion gel. Speaking of LEGO, did you know there was a LEGO portal game called LEGO Dimensions? Oh my goodness, that, that was brilliant. That was the prime of LEGO. The lab boys just informed me that I should oh, not have mentioned the control make group. Anymore. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Cool. Uh, oh, I know who that is. Have you ever heard of a man named J.K. Simmons? He's, um, y you know Jane Jonah Jameson from the Spider-Man Raimi series with whatnot, Tobey Maguire? One of the worst Spider-Mans I've, worst spider man I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, ha have you, um, ever seen, um, J.K. Simmons, he's brilliant. I must say, he is top notch in, in comedy. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a <laughs> billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, no well worry. I don't have to no, uh, uh, no, uh, no way. I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I have any tumours. I, uh, I don't think I have any tumours. Um, um, like, and feel is just bumps and stuff, but that's just tentacles and... But actually, that's... I don't think I have any tumours, so... Don't think I have uh, any form of cancer, of course. No. The only lumps and bumps I can feel are just the um, is the uh, is the uh, is the. Uh, it's the, it's the lines and wrinkles that make my case it, that make me so repulsive and horrible. So no, I I don't have any uh, tumors. Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! Whoa! Wait a minute! Okay, so, wait, we've got this. So just to clarify, I don't have any tumours. Only just, only wrinkles and, um, and a, and a horrific, uh, squid-like, um, Appearance. So yeah. Whoa, I love propulsion gel.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. God damn it. God damn it, McFly. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Uh, Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. Oh yeah, I, kn I know what you're talking about, about Mantis Man. You mean Rick and Morty, where the Cronenberg, that Cronenberg episode where Morty uh, gave his girlfriend a some kind of weird potion, some love potion. Well... Yeah, a, a roofy potion, and uh, it turned them all into um, horrible mantis-like creatures. If you've seen that episode, Rick Potion Number 9, that's what it's called. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. It does not like the human skeleton? What do you mean it doesn't like the human skeleton? Do you mean the, uh, do you mean the goo, the toxic goo that is, um, I thought it was water. Oh no, no, no wonder I feel, uh, a bit icky when I drunk the water. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Asbestos. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because really? that's yeah. not part of the test. That's uh, asbestos. The good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So asbestos if you're 30 or older, you're is laughing. a drug, isn't it? Worst case yeah. scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. You could fire a man. Oh yeah. Oh, of course. Um, Mr. Johnson. Is it okay if I call you? Uh... Well, it looks like, um... Okay, so...
okay, so, uh, wait, so if I, wait, can I do that? And then if I, if I, if I, if I do that, then, yeah. Then, if I do that... Just a heads up, that coffee you gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so okay. we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's okay. a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, right. don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Right, I see. You know, I would want to work in a, uh science and research center like this. Yeah, I, I learn, I'd learn how to do lots of experiments and then again, uh, I would have to avoid Adolf and deadly Now, if you're part of control group Can Kepler 7, me, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's... He's dead, isn't he? And doesn't Even matter. There. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, press right. no. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Right. Wait, so... Right, so, uh... Wait, what am I supposed to... What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Keep your pants on. Okay. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of trace advice, if you meet yourself travel. on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.
Yes. Uh, I'm confused. Whoa, uh, <laughs> I was not expect to do anything. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The uh, lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like right. right. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Let's see, let me just, uh... advice anyone has ever given me. Thank you, Cave Johnson. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Yeah, exactly. Why not do it yourself? You can, you can do anything with science. And also, why not Stop Congratulations! There. The simple fact that Best you're standing advice. here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Okay. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Huh. She you. is a gem. Yeah. Wondering, is Carolyn GLaDOS? Well, not GLaDOS, but the consciousness of GLaDOS. I guess we'll have to find out. Wait, so, wait. Well, I can't go that way for some reason. Wait, if I go that way, then, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Boom. Okay, so... wait. I go this way. So, um, okay, so, okay, 
so out here now for some reason. Whoa, what's Where is this place? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Whoa, what's going on in Wait, wait, what? Greetings, friend. Whoa. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. Yeah, you already You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Really? Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? My right. Bankrupt. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Okay. Uh, okay, not touch anything test related. Yeah, as I said, science, science, especially science fiction, is about why not Exactly. Good point. And testing is indeed the future. This is exactly why, um... If science wasn't here today, what would we do? Ah. Oh. Well, there wouldn't be thought of a start, that would be one problem. Speaking of speaking of portal, how do I get out? Oh, oh hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you Oh thanks. Oh hi. Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. She's really obsessive. Finding Wheatley and killing her. Uh, killing him. Anyway, people of Earth, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, no, uh, no. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the. And to ask your last question, how long have I been out? Well. Um, I think for a while. I don't know. Anyway, uh, anyway, people of Earth, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did like and subscribe to become part of a Dark Empire, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Dalek Supreme YouTube channel, or you will be exterminated!